Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my fast WordPress tutorial for this year. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install a WordPress website all the way through to having a fantastic WordPress theme and having your website looking awesome and running really fast. And the best thing is we're going to try and do this in under around about 10 minutes. So very, very quick. But anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's get started with your WordPress website. Now, if you follow all the easy steps that I give you in this video, within just 10 minutes, you're going to have your own website looking absolutely fantastic with your own domain name, your own hosting, and it's super easy to edit. Now, what I would highly recommend is that you work on your website at the same time as watching this video because it makes it so much easier to know exactly where all the buttons are, how to install things, and by the end of this video, you'll have your own website looking great as well. Now, in order to get your WordPress website running, you need to have a web host, and by far the most popular one is called Bluehost, and it's one that I would actually recommend as well uh, for a number of different reasons. Firstly, Bluehost is incredibly secure and they also have an incredibly fast service, which means that your website is going to run really, really quick, which is great because your users don't want to wait around for a slow website. Not only that, they've also been around for ages. So they've got a really good reputation in the web design community. And what's really important is they have one click WordPress install, which means that it's super easy to get WordPress installed, even if you don't know what you're doing. So back in the day, you used to have to use an FTP and upload different files and, uh, you know, download the WordPress file and unzip it. it. You don't have to do that anymore. It's literally plug and play one click and you'll have your WordPress site installed and looking fantastic. And this is probably the best thing. I was able to get you guys a really good deal for watching this tutorial. So Bluehost normally starts at around about $8 a month for hosting, which is actually pretty good. But if you click the link in the description box below under this video, it starts from just $2.75 a month, which is a massive discount. Not only that, but they're also going to throw in a free domain name as well, which is absolutely crazy because domain names themselves can cost an extra $50. So you're going to be getting super cheap, you know, hosting and you're going to get a domain name and one click WordPress install. It's the reason why I choose Bluehost and I use them for myself as well. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So you pretty much have nothing to lose. So if you want to get this discount, the link will be in the description box below and in the comments as well. And you'll be able to get this discount and get started with Bluehost. Now we're at Bluehost. We do have this discount, which is great. And we can click get started. And you'll see that we have a number of different plans. The one that I would highly recommend is this one here called Choice Plus. Now this one has unlimited websites, whereas the basic plan only has one website, which is really limiting, especially if you want to start creating lots of different websites. With this, you're kind of stuck on it. The other reason why I would choose, choose this one over this one is that you get domain privacy, which for me is by far the most important thing. Otherwise, your address and maybe your phone number will be available to pretty much anyone who does a basic lookup search and you'll be bombarded with lots of different emails and phone calls. It's not worth it. Just go for the choice plus. All you need to do is click select. Now we're going to set up a domain name and this is essentially a google.com or a chriswinter.com and you can search for any domain name right here. I think we're going to use website tutorials by chris.com and we'll see if this is available. Let's click next. Great, the domain name is available and it's free on Bluehost, which is awesome. Let's go down now and fill in some of this information. Next up, we're going to choose how long we want to have the hosting for. Now, you can obviously get a discount if you choose 36 months, but you can also do 24 or 12 months. It's slightly more expensive, but if you just know you're going to be using this website for one year, you can click on that. And it's great with Bluehost, you get free domain registration and free encrypted SSL. So let's go down a little bit more. These are just a few other extra things that you can add on. Honestly, if you want to save a little bit of money, you don't really need to do these. And then we're just going to fill in our payment information. So once you put in your details, you click proceed and you'll come to a page where it says your purchase was a success. Then all we need to do is click create account. Now we're going to create a password for our Bluehost account. We already have our domain name. Then accept the terms and click create account. And we can go to log in. So we can log in now with that password we just used. And then the great thing about Bluehost is that they make it so easy to create a website. All we need to do is put in our website name and then a tagline. You can say, do you want a blog? Yeah, sure. Do you want an online store? No, not this time. Let's click continue. Then they'll ask for a little bit more information about your website. And then we can go to theme selection. Like I said before, Bluehost makes it so easy. They already have all of these themes ready for you. By far the one that I would recommend is Astra. It's a really easy theme and it's got a great builder, which means you don't have to use any code to use this theme. If we want to use it, all you need to do is click use this theme. Bluehost will now install WordPress for you. 
And we're here already at your Bluehost WordPress dashboard. What we wanna do now is go to the left and click on My Sites. And what we're gonna do is go right here and log into WordPress. So this is your WordPress dashboard, essentially the brains of your WordPress website. It is a little bit cluttered here, so let's close these two bars. And we can also close this here. Now before we do anything, let's change your password. So to do this, we're gonna to go to Users over here. Then we go down to our user. Click on Edit. From here, we can scroll down and click on New Password, Generate Password. And you can put in your new password. Then you can click Update Profile. Next, we're gonna install a plugin which will make it really easy for you to make your website look great even if you don't know any coding. To do this, we're gonna to go to Plugins down here on the left and then Add New. We can go down here to search plugins and we're gonna search for Astra. And we're gonna use this one here, the Astra Starter Sites. To install it, all we need to do is click Install Now. And then click Activate. The great thing about this plugin is that it's got a number of different themes that you can use to make your website look awesome. To see those different themes, all you need to do is click See Library. Now we're gonna select Page Builder to make it really easy to edit. The one I would recommend is Elementor, so all you need to do is click on that and then click Next. Now, as you can see with this Astra Starter Sites, we have so many different templates which you can choose from, all professionally designed, and you don't need to know any code on how to use them. Now, you might wanna use a free template, so to do that, we click at the top here on free, and then these are all the ones that are completely free that you can use without any coding. If you wanna quickly preview a website, all you need to do is hover over it and you'll see a quick preview. Or if you wanna get a full-on preview, you can click preview. Then we can scroll on the right here and take a look at what the website's gonna look like. Amazing, without any coding. If we wanna use this website, all we need to do is click import site and it's gonna import all of the necessary information, content and plugins. Once we're done, all you need to do is click on view site. And this is your current website. It's amazing what you can get done without knowing any coding with WordPress, it's so easy. Currently, we have a lot of demo content in here. Of course, we're gonna be able to change this and I'll show you just how easy it is to change. But you can see we have a beautiful parallax effect. We also have some really nice font here. Got some great images which we can start with and then change. And it's just a super nice, very fast loading and beautiful website. Let's now edit it a little bit. So if you ever wanna edit this website, all you need to do is go to the top here and click Edit with Elementor. And the great thing with Elementor is that it's super easy to use. So for example, if we ever wanna change a little bit of text, all you need to do is hover over it, click right here, and you can see that I can literally change the text just like this. It's like working in a Word document. If we wanna change this button, we can click here. And then if we wanna change the color of this button, for example, we'd go to the top left here, click on style. So we can change the background color. How about to a nice gold color? Maybe the hover will change that to a darker orange. And you can see when I hover over that now, it changes color. Now I don't wanna to go too in depth with this tutorial because it is a short tutorial, but I just wanna show you how amazingly powerful it is using Bluehost, Elementor, and Web WordPress. If, for example, you wanna change this section, all you need to do is drag it here on these six dots, and you can actually simply drag it down here. And now this section is down here, and this section is up here. Again, if we wanna change this text, we could say, change it like this. And then for example, if we wanna change this background image here, we can do that super easily. All we need to do is go to the top here and then right click on edit section. And then we can change the style here with this image. Let's click choose image, select files. And we'll use this image. We can then click insert media. And you can see that we have a fantastic Parallax theme with a really nice back image. We can even change the background overlay. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. We can change the opacity really easy just with this slider. I think that looks around right good. 
And if you ever want to see what it looks like full screen, you can click hide panel. And here is your website looking really good. And you can have a lot of fun editing this. Of course, if you would like to see this website tutorial in full, I will have a full on hour or two tutorial really teaching you exactly how to edit this. But in this short tutorial, I wanted to get you up to date with this awesome thing as quick as possible. If you ever want to save it, all you need to do is click update down the bottom here on the left. And then you can click this hamburger menu on the top left here and then go back to your dashboard. Now, like I said before, this was a very quick tutorial getting you up and running with WordPress, Bluehost and Elementor. If you do want to get started, definitely click the link in the description box below and it will take you to this discount page where you can get Bluehost super cheap Then you'll be able to get started. And if you do want to watch a full on tutorial, I'll also put a link to that in the description box below, which will show you exactly how to really get your website looking fantastic. It'll be a longer tutorial, maybe an hour or two, and it'll answer all of your questions. But if you are going to get started, good luck. Uh, good luck using Bluehost. Good luck with using WordPress. And I hope you have a fantastic WordPress experience. So there you go guys, that was a quick tutorial on how to get WordPress set up. Like I said before, this was a very quick tutorial. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, you can check out my channel. I've got lots of tutorials on how to set up WordPress, going into a lot more in-depth kind of details on everything you need to know. As I said before, you will need hosting for WordPress and I would always recommend Bluehost. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can get a really good discount on their WordPress website hosting. Well, that's it for today, guys. Good luck with your WordPress website. I'd love to hear what your domain names are and we can check them out. And I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.